mistakes to avoid when starting an online business, your online business. Now, I've long said that newbies to the world of online business and even artists, here I'm talking about creative types like writers and painters and sculptors and all sorts of creative types really have a whole heck of a lot, as a matter of fact, in common. But there is one crucial difference between artists and online businesses or entrepreneurs, which can actually lead to devastating mistakes when starting your online business. So my friend, let's take a look. What's going on? I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow, then you're in the right spot. All right, now to help you along with all this stuff, because I know that all this online business stuff can seem complicated and like a confusing mess in your head. And you're probably sitting there going, what do creative types have to do with entrepreneurs and online business? How does any of this stuff make sense? How do I make sense of what products to offer, how I should market myself and ew, I have to go and sell. That's disgusting. So to help you along with all this stuff and to really just we got to calm down and just sort everything out. What I've done is I've put together for you an online business jumpstart guide. This is a totally free, easy to follow, downloadable PDF guide that really gives you a clear, solid blueprint. We untangle the mess that's going on in your head right now. We lay it all out into a clear, simple to follow foundation for you. This is even a printable workbook where you can essentially fill it out and simply reference to it as you need it, as you're building your online business. And this really becomes the foundation for everything that you're building and everything that you're developing. Go ahead and grab it right now while you can over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. And before I forget, be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I will show you how you can gain access to free training that goes even deeper with all this online business stuff stuff and we untangle the mess even further you definitely don't want to miss it okay as i get my tongue untwisted let's jump into all this stuff in the meantime here so like i said just a moment ago newbie online business owners or newbie entrepreneurs and artists and creative types have all kinds of commonalities they share all kinds of common characteristics but there's one crucial difference between these two types of folks, which I will fill you in on in just a second. First though, as for artists and creative types, they often have a real tough go of things in life, trying to get their career going, keeping their career going, this kind of stuff. This is the trope of the starving artist or the broke musician, right? That's because for these sorts of people, it is all about one thing. It is all about self-expression, right? It's all about expressing themselves creatively through whatever medium they choose, music or sculpting or painting or whatever. And the key here, the trick here is finding people, which in the business world we would call customers or prospects. The tough thing that creative types face is finding people, customers, who are interested enough in their self-expression to actually buy from them. <laughs> and that is a tough, tough slog. Again, it goes back to the whole trope of like the starving artist and the starving musician. But as I say, newbie business owners, newbie entrepreneurs are very similar. This, my friend, is because very, very often these newbies into the world, I'm calling them newbies, but call them whatever you want, People who are new to the world of business and to the world of entrepreneurship, that's because very often these sorts of people put themselves and their needs first, just like creative types do. Artists and creative types serve themselves and their needs first, and they serve the needs of paying customers second, right? Those who are new to the world of business, new entrepreneurs, do exactly the same thing. The primary concern for those business newbies, folks who are new to business, are things like, when do I get to quit my job? When do I get to fire my jerk butthole boss? When do I get to live life on my terms? Now, don't get me wrong here. These things are all fine and well, but putting them first is a huge mistake. That is because in business, the customer's needs, the customer's wants, and the customer's desires and problems come first before the business owners. 
This key piece of information, <laughs> this crucial little nugget that I just shared with you is something that nearly everyone struggles with, wrestles with, does not get in their head. They are going into business for themselves. I'm going into business because I want to be rich. I'm going into business because I want to buy a Lamborghini. I want to go into business because I want to have wild, crazy, awesome vacations, a thousand supermodel girlfriends, and the big giant house. Well, guess what, my friend? Here is the brutal, honest, direct truth. Your customers, your audience, your prospects do not care about any of those things. Here's another bitter, jagged pill for you. Until this clicks in your head, until you truly get what I'm saying here, you will go around and around and around in circles. Your wheels will spin and you'll go in circles and you'll wrestle with frustration and even begin developing contempt and anger towards your audience until this finally clicks. My friend, I can't believe I'm <laughs> delving all this, divulging all this, that's the word I'm thinking of. I'm throwing all this out in a free video, but this is absolutely crucial. This is the key distinction, the one thing that separates creative types from real, true, real world, problem solving, died in the wool, down in the trenches, dirty, entrepreneurs. And this is an absolutely crucial distinction that I encourage you to put some serious thought into. But then another question bubbles up. If all you're ever doing, this is the question that bubbles up. If all you're ever doing is fulfilling other people's needs, your customers' needs, your prospects' needs, your audience's needs, then what about all the things that you want? Like, for instance, what I'm talking about here is what about doing work? Like, I, I'm not talking about like making a bazillion dollars and super awesome supercars and supermodels and all that junk. What I'm talking about is like, what about doing work that you actually feel is important? Work that's actually fulfilling. So it's like, should I just start a business to make the most amount of money possible, no matter what it takes, no matter how soul crushing it is? What about actually getting something out of the work that you're producing? That's what I'm talking about. Well, my friend, it is a balancing act, balancing between work that you enjoy doing that is fulfilling and rewarding, that also serves the needs of other people, that allows you to earn a really great living in the process. That, my friend, is the sweet spot. It's a balancing act, remember, but the trouble is it can be a whole heck of a lot to sort all of this out. This is why, my friend, I've laid all of this out in clear steps in your online business workshop. This is a completely free, self-paced workshop where you and I are going to destroy, shatter, crush some of the biggest myths about how business and entrepreneurship really actually truly works, what your competition is and what they mean to you and to your business, what your customers, what your audience really truly wants, and why do what you love is a sure wire, sure way, I almost said sure wire, a <laughs> sure way to fail. You're also going to get three real world methods for validating your business ideas and avoid the number one mistake that most folks who are new to business and to entrepreneurship make. Most importantly, my friend, we're going to lock down a clear actionable plan for you to move forward with your online business endeavors. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free and be sure to enroll. You don't want to miss it. And before you head over there, grab a notepad and a coffee. Absolutely. Those are like mandatory. I need a coffee too. I'm going to go grab a coffee, grab yourself a coffee and a notepad, and I'll see you over there in just a second.